Welcome to the VW Nut Garage. I'm here. Patina's here. She's been abusing this poor dinosaur. Puppy! Patina! You want this? And, uh, once I'm done playing with the dog, I got some heads to clean up, carburetor to rebuild, and an engine to put back together. So, that's what we're here to do today. Um, if we can calm down this pit bull. All right, so this is what I'm concerned with in here. It's just this, this could be cleaner. And it's not horrible. But this is a very soft uh, brush on my Dremel tool. And I'm going to use that at a low speed to kind of clean this up a little bit. And uh, we'll see what it looks like when I'm done. And go from there. All right, so this is before. I have done a little bit of stuff to this one already. Uh, why the uh, camera was charging up um so this is before i did anything and this is what i'm going with for after uh that's clean enough for me clean enough for what i'm doing i think it's gonna work fantastic so we'll continue cleaning up this one then we'll start uh putting some lego bits together all right so the heads are clean as they need to be and uh we're moving on when i took the heads off i pulled this stud out so I got a double nutter on the bottom there and we're going to uh, lock tight her on in there. Lock tight her right back into the case and uh, then we'll put some heads on and go from there. Well I'm out fitting some uh, push rod tubes with uh, some fresh rubberies. Um, the only thing that I did was just to make sure I got most of the crap off of my hand. Um, just so it wasn't adding to the mess on the push rod tube. So, 182 more of these to go. And uh, we'll get some heads on. Well, you can clearly see where we're at. And I, now that I made sure to keep my hands clean for all of these rubbers, I'll uh, make sure and drop them in the goop, probably. So I thought I'd turn the camera on while I was trying to outfit them. Tina's over there by the door waiting for the signal to go outside. Well, I don't know how much of that was captured, but uh Get the push rod tubes set in place there and uh, putting on the, uh, the head bolts right now. The nuts, if you will, onto the head. And I'll bring you guys back when we get to torquing them down. Hopefully you guys are looking somewhere near this head. Um, I got them all snugged up. I'm going to go ahead and hit them with the torque wrench. Same as the other side. Uh, 25 is what they call for. So that's what they're going to get. Oh, I'm right in the shot. Let me change the shot for you guys. We'll get this cylinder head torqued down. So where I'm headed next is... Let me get my big fat head in the way for you. Um, where I'm headed next is... Generator standing gaskets, fuel pumping gaskets, oil cooler and gasket, tin, exhaust. Um, so we'll get the gaskets ready and get you guys set up where you can see uh, what's happening with the generator stand. Alright, so you guys are looking where the generator stand goes. I took this piece of uh, metal off of there just like that. Just like that right there. And uh, I think there's probably supposed to be a gasket that goes in there, but I'm not sure. But we'll see what we got. I think there's supposed to be a gasket on both sides of that.
just like a little bit of that there. Get my greasy fingerprints all over the fresh paint. Alright, so I think I have these gaskets backwards, which is no big deal. may even be an oil pump gasket, but it fits there. That's what I'm going with. Better than the RTV that was there. Now we're talking. Just like that. A little something like that. And a like that all right you guys get the idea four bolts and that'll be done we'll move on to the uh, fuel pump all right so like I said I'm gonna set this uh, gasket right there just so I remember where it is uh, and which one goes first that cleaned up and I'll bring you guys right back all right well I'm gonna put this here uh, gasket in its correct configuration now um, make sure that's the correct one put this in its correct configuration just like that right there A little bit of oil right on the top right there. Right about there, yeah. I'm gonna take this here, um, oh, pick a color, pick a color, pick a color. Pick this one. We're gonna go red. Put this one right about here, like that. Oh, oh, careful. Okay. Clean up this here fuel pump real quick. All right, so that's all cleaned up, and uh, get these tightened down, nice and even. The wavy washers, fresh gaskets, happy. Alright, that's done. I'll get the uh, 10 millimeter. We'll get three of these off and take a look at what's in there. These two that are underneath. Be careful not to drop them into the abyss that is down there.
All right. That out of there. It's barely crusty. Not too bad. Not in too bad of shape, those ones. Relatively impressive. Um, we'll get this cleaned up, that cleaned up, and uh, fresh gaskets in there and reassemble. Well, that's all cleaned up right there, and we'll uh, pull out my plugs. Put a couple of gas goots in there. Okay, this tray here, right back on there, it's all cleaned up on the bottom. Wavy washers and nuts, we'll probably drop these, so I'll leave the cameras on, because when they end up in the abyss, I'll probably cry. Alright, don't say nothing about how easy that first one was. Not yet, anyway. So you guys probably said something about how easy it was with the first one. Got it. All right, you guys get the idea. After this, we'll get to some cans. All right, so here's where we're at. I already put the uh, rocker arm on the other side, so I'm going to put it on this side. So you can see what it is I'm attempting to do. Not attempting, just for it. Push rod two. Rocker assembly. Couple of wavy washers to keep everything in place. One pair of 13 millimeters. Oh, you guys didn't remind me to make sure I uh, had the push rod tubes in. That's all right. We'll do her twice. Second try. You got to make sure that the uh, push rods are in their little in their little buckets. Before you start cranking down on things, Brian.
All right, I'm going to go ahead and put the valve covers on now. I know that I'm going to need to uh, do a valve adjustment, but while I'm putting the floors in and fixing the firewall and cutting the floors out, I, I don't want this to sit open. So we'll go ahead and put the valve covers on now. And you guys remind me after the floors are in and I put it back in the car to go ahead and uh, do a valve adjustment if I forget. And oil, please. Alright, now we're on to the cylinder head tin. Um, got that on. Valve covers went on no problem with fresh gaskets. Uh, so we'll start getting the cylinder head tin screwed down and there's a couple of pieces that go underneath and while we're underneath we'll take that screen off and clean it. Um, moving right along. So I'm just going through the motions, putting the tin on and I thought I'd bring you guys back and show you that that is not going to work. Um, there's an intake that needs to run right there first first before you put the doghouse on you need to put the intake on uh, that's a note to future brian so these two intake bolts no problem this intake bolt no problem this one that's hiding in there may cause you a little bit of a headache well, the doghouse is on and the intake is on. Uh, the carburetor, I still need to rebuild it. Uh, I don't think I'm getting the rebuild kit for that, but I may have one here in stock. Um, so that's on. And I did take the uh, the strainer or the screen out. And it doesn't look too bad. It's a little, I think probably just from the years of sitting, it's a little gunky down there. And uh, this had quite a bit of gunkiness on it. And there is a, um, if you guys look under there, you can see that one of those studs is broken so we have to consult some experts on what we could do about that and um we'll be moving forward well we got lucky on that broken stud right there i uh I grabbed onto her with some vice grips and we were able focus we were able to get her out of there in my opinion, just my opinion, that looks way better than all that red stuff that was on there. That's how it should look. So, moving right along, we'll uh, get the exhaust hung, get the carburetor rebuilt. Gotta clean the shop again. I've only been out here for half the day, and uh, already it's destroyed. Um, my poor mom, who always wanted me to clean my room, now I get it. That's going to do it for this one, guys. Uh, it's part 12. Uh, in part 13, we'll be uh, rebuilding a carburetor, cutting the floor out of Daisy, and we'll see what happens from there. So uh, thanks again, everybody, for coming by the VW Nut Garage and coming with me on this, uh, this journey of Daisy.